So the question is, how clear is a clear strife? You're now tuned into Sykes Weekly Nerf Dosage. Hey, what's up, good people? Welcome to episode 144 of Pwn. I'll keep this episode short because you guys have already seen my Galaxy Strife more than once. But what I really want to feature is the clear parts that I bought both from Taobao and of course from Hawkeye 007 and I wanted to give you guys a quick run through because you know what you see outside here is not just the clear parts that are in this strife I also have a clear flywheel cage made by Black Steel Props aka Hawkeye 007 of course we have the clear you know other accessories over here but he was really kind enough to actually hook me up with a clear flywheel cage set and I really wanted to share that with you guys so check this out once again, we have my Galaxy Strife, guys. This is the third time I'm featuring this blaster on my channel, which basically tells you I absolutely love this guy. Now, those of you with a very keen eye would have already noticed that this part seems a little bit different, right? Because in the previous video, this guy actually was a metallic purple, but now it's a different color. So you guys ready for the big unveil? Here we go. Be prepared. Ta-da! What's that? Yes, it is a clear BSP flywheel cage custom made for me by Hawkeye007. He was really, really nice, you know. I was just telling him, hey, do you actually make your flywheel cage in clear? And he was like, bro, I got you. And so, ta-da, clear flywheel cage with a clear spacer as well. And of course, I use PETG on the inside because, you know, I didn't want to have brass running on the inside. Spoil the whole clear look, right? And of course, I'm running it with worker flywheels, but uh, I'm just gonna turn on the lights on this blaster, okay? So you can see the light shining through. Um, am I able to just dim this light and show you guys? Give me a moment, let me see what I can do. Oh, there we go, wow. That effect's kinda cool. Wait, let me just do it with this light as well. Hold on, guys. There we go. Now you guys can see the light shining through all the way, and it's just, I don't know, guys, it's just pure awesome. And with the purple light turned on as well because i realized that i never showed you guys what the lights look like with the blaster open all right so roughly what it looks like with the blaster closed up would be something like this but it's really awesome so big ups to hawkeye thank you so much for this amazing clear psp canted flywheel cage for the strife now i've got the lights back on i've turned off the led lights of the blaster i'm just gonna close up this guy now this is the latest package i received from worker and it is none other than the amazing Chris Vector kit in full clear and of course it comes with a couple of decals uh, one in black one in khaki or like I don't know what color this is olive green yeah ignore the white part it's just part of the sticker but it goes on to the areas here and of course this part as well if you want some grip on it but I don't but at least it's nice to know that it comes with in case you guys want an option although I am not new to the Chris Vector kit I am new to the molded version so this is completely molded in clear now, you guys might already be familiar with this, but at least maybe, hopefully, this is new to you guys because it's the clear version. But uh, the nub over here is in orange. Would have been nice if it was clear. But this goes onto the front of your blaster. This goes onto the magwell and to the bottom of the grip of your blaster. It comes with uh, this locking mechanism piece, which goes onto here. And uh, the flashlight attachment piece that goes onto the top over here. All right, but if you notice this, set isn't really complete and that's because you actually have to order another set which basically is made up of this now this is separate and i don't know why but it should be together this is the top clip that goes onto the top part of your strife with a sling mount area and uh, a couple of side attachments that slips onto the side of your your strife all right, in case you guys want to attach reels to it, but uh, not for me right now. I gotta keep this though because I want to attach reels in future if he ever makes any clear reels. And of course, the locking mechanism that goes onto the top over here. I'll be doing that install really quickly in a short while, but uh, you know, just wanted to share this with you guys. And of course, you have to top it off with a fully clear top reel. So because now I see the top reel, I do hope with all my heart that Worker will make clear side reels. And so I can actually attach side reels to this thing over here and also to the clear Yokio kit. But yeah, this is the reel that goes onto the top of your Chris Vector kit. Now it is also kind of sad that this comes separate because I don't know if anyone will actually get this and this 
without getting this because it would just look strange on your blaster. Now I'm gonna try and explain it to you guys. This whole Magwell piece goes on here and this front piece goes on here and that means that the top here is completely blank. It'd be strange because, you know, it looks kind of like flat-ish. It'll end up like this with nothing really on top. So I don't understand why Worker sells these two separately. Which is, it just kind of boggles me. But anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and install this. And you guys don't even need an installation video because it's a very, very straightforward thing. And I've covered an installation video before in the past. And this is way easier because these are all actually screwed in already. So just gonna cut to that and show you guys what I mean. A few moments later. Here we go, guys. We are just done with the installation of the first part of the kit. And now I hope you guys understand how ugly it is without the extra piece over here. It sucks, right? Like, I don't even know why Worker just sold this and this together without including that top piece over here, which is really, really important. Now, what this top piece does basically is to make this whole thing flush like that so that you could add the top rail. All right, so at least this looks a bit better as compared to what it was before without. It's like this, which kind of sucks. And also, another thing I want to point out is that due to my lack of foresight, because you know, I wasn't expecting this kit to be released anyway, right? The switch to turn on my lights that I have inside is not accessible anymore because of this piece. So if I want to turn on the switch, I'd have to remove this guy over here and then use a screwdriver or an object to kind of turn on the switch. Then uh, I don't even know if I'll be able to install this uh, cover piece back. You know, but it's something that, uh, you know, isn't going to bother me too much because I'm not going to turn on the lights all the time. It's just really just for show. But I will do that in a bit after I finish installing this and the top rail as well. Okay, so there we have it. Installation complete. Full top rail in place along with this guy. And I also realized another silly thing about it is that now I cannot turn on this light as well because of the top rail. So give and take, guys, give and take, you know. <laughs> Depends on your light switch settings. This one requires me to actually open up my jam door, flip a switch, but I can actually assess it if I were to have a long screwdriver and just hit the switch right at the front there. See the blue thing next to the LEDs? Yeah, I could do that easily by using like a long screwdriver like this one. Um, and then, you know, installation of the top rail is also a little bit silly because there's nothing to actually hold these two down. So I actually have now three spare uh, little screws over here you just have to install one here and one on the front like that because these two have nothing to grip on so yeah um all in all just it just looks sweet you know what i mean it just looks really really good so now i'm going to show you guys what it looks like with the lights first of all i gotta find a way to take this part out and what you normally do is just grab a flathead screwdriver and fit it right here and gently yank this guy out from underneath it comes right off like this so now that this guy's off i can actually access the switch right there i'm gonna use my screwdriver like so and also reach in from the bottom over here and hit the switch to turn on these lights as well now what does this guy look like in dim light not bad it honestly looks pretty sweet i love the way the light bounces off at the bottom over here that's pretty cool the purple light so we got the switches we got this showing we got this on the front over here pretty cool i have to admit that's what it looks like on the other side that's that guys welcome back I won't be giving you guys a firing demonstration because you guys have already seen this blaster in action more than once in the video. This is probably the third video that I'm actually showcasing the Galaxy Strife. Now in a previous episode, I actually featured a clear Yokyo body kit by Worker. And I also mentioned in that video that I was hoping that Worker would make like a clear, you know, vertical grip or clear stock. And Worker actually really did make a clear vertical grip. So I actually have one more of these on my Yokyo kit. But, you know, from then till now, Actually, in fact, in between, Worker actually released this clear vector kit and this is just absolutely amazing. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen a clear vector kit because MTB actually made a video 
on Adrian's Clear Kits, which featured the Clear Yokio Body Kit as well as the Clear Chris Vector Kit on two red themed blasters and those were absolutely awesome. They are beautiful and I'll link that video in the description below or at the end card of this video. I guess I should be proud to say that I'm actually the guy who kind of poisoned Adrian and uh, psychoed him to go get this clear kit. He initially wasn't wanting to get a clear vector but once he saw this clear vector kit on my Galaxy Strife he was like he's gonna just spend his money. So uh, ever since then the installation video of this uh, till now, Worker actually released this, so I just put this on and I decided that I wanted to show the whole thing to you guys. So this is my super clear strife. I will probably have to spend some time another day to rewire the whole circuit and all the LEDs, even this one, and maybe line them up to a, you know, a, a different switch that I could put somewhere else on a blaster. I don't even know where is a good spot because this just looks so absolutely awesome and I, I really don't know guys. Any suggestions? Because. I'm like in my heart I'm kind of like just really hoping Worker will release a clear stock so I don't want to have any switches here just in case the clear stock gets released so I can have a clear stock on this guy I really don't know you know the next thing is that I'm left-handed so any usual like right-handed switch would not fit for me because I want to be able to operate it on my left hand but you know switches on the left half of the shell makes everything so complicated because you know everything is sitting on the right half of the shell instead so yeah what do you guys think? Alright guys, we've come to the end of the video. I told you guys it's gonna be a short one and uh, I hope that it wasn't too long, honestly. I just really wanted to make this really quick for you guys and showcase the amazing clear parts. So big shout outs to Worker and especially big shout outs to Hawkeye007 aka Black Steel Props. I'll put links in the video description for you guys if I can find the Worker link for the clear vector kit. But at least I will link Hawkeye007's Etsy page. So if you guys are interested in, you know, anything from him, just go ahead and get it. It's pretty awesome stuff especially the canted flywheel cage guys thank you so much for sticking all the way throughout thank you so much for the support if you guys like this video i hope you guys give me a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed to my channel i hope you guys consider subscribing and if you realized i've kind of changed the ending part of the video where i actually put like feature videos and a subscribe button right now because i'm kind of making use of youtube's new and I forgot what it's called, but uh, yeah, ending video kind of uh, function. Tell me what you guys think, because uh, once I use this, I'm not able to put annotations throughout the video. But the good thing is that these things show up on mobile and not annotations. So let me know what you think, okay? Um, and that's about it, guys. Till the next episode, Drills Pay The Bills and Teamwork Makes The Dream Work. Catch you then. Peace.